Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame. It's called the Real ACC Sphinx. So this is obviously a hexcopter. It's a 275 millimeter wheelbase. So the most important thing that I was trying to see if it'll fit a six inch prop. Now it seems that it would, as you can tell right there, this is a six inch prop. But there's a little issue in the back that I don't know how to how it's going to be in real life. Now it's, it clear is perfect, even with a motor. But the problem is it kind of is just like under the frame here by like that much. So I'm afraid with flex, you know, it might start hitting here. And uh, yeah, so that's something I still don't know, but I really want to build it. Now, what I want to do this, since it's also a cheap frame, I don't want to put some super expensive motors. Uh, actually, I got a comment the other day telling me that there's 2207 Racer Star motors. There's low KV and then there's the normal KVs. So I might pick up a low KV and somewhere of a mid-ish KV because I think it comes in three. I don't even remember the KVs. I'll leave a link to them down below once I find them again. So I don't know how I missed those. They're 2207 Racer Star Motors and they're pretty cheap. So this is the kind of thing that I want to put on this guy. Now for flight control, we're going to need a flight control that takes six inputs. We might even go back to the basics like a SPF3. So just to see how well it'll do and even possibly connect to GPS. I don't even know if it has awesome flight time and it feels good in the air. It's going to be pretty awesome actually. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is actually the second hexcopter I have now. Uh, but this one is like, you know, the smaller type kind of ish. I don't know what you would call them. The other one's that 540 millimeter. <clears throat> then I'm, I'm actually I'm making the, the build right now putting everything together and to be honest I think I can't wait on that one I might just stick an f7 and then it says it has six motor output so and just go and test it out now anyways uh, this 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 is pretty cool here so it's something new I don't know if it's a clone I don't think it's a clone I, I looked I searched I didn't see anything that resembled a clone or anything that looked like it so it is like 35 bucks or something $37 this guy and it has four millimeter arms every other plate on this frame is two millimeter there is no instructions it's a bit you know it's like a it got me a while just thinking how to put this together the pictures weren't really that great either so as you can tell here one screw would go here and then this this p each arm is different this piece would go like this and this one this the front arm has a little notch like a little square notch and it will fit in there and this one is just a separate it's just rounded off it took a while because you know it just didn't really make sense because these actually just go into the frame and these holes were bigger and yeah it was just it was chaotic but i think if you've seen this you'll, you'll get it now but anyways uh flex it does have flex it's pretty rigid but i mean i'm not expecting much it's 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 pretty long arms during this side there isn't really much flex maybe i didn't tighten a screw down i don't know but it's good i'm not saying it's bad it just has some flex oh wow this is very good so yeah it's pretty good for for it's, it's very good for its price to be honest you don't get anything else except an extra screw and an extra one of these for no just an extra long screw and uh no battery strap no instruction manual you just get everything here however the hardware is good on this one i can tell you that right now the hardware is pretty good However, the nuts they're using are not self-locking nuts. Neither do they grab into the frame. Neither do they have the nylon piece inside of them. They're just basic, normal nuts here. So each arm is held with two screws. This arm is held with these two. This arm is held with this one and that one. And then this arm is held with this one and that one. And when I mean this one, it's going into the standoff here. So if we take a look down here, we can see that two, two screws holding this arm. And these two are holding this arm, but it's interlocking with the front one here, which these two are holding this arm. And uh, yeah, so and uh, these four obviously go into the flight controller. It takes 30 by 30 flight controllers, which is 30.5 by 30.5. But I'm just using it shorter, 30 by 30. And um, it seems like it has a lot of space. The space inside is 28 millimeters. The camera mounting solution looks awesome. They do have a lot of cutouts up here. It is, I think, a bottom mount battery frame. Because if you take a look here, they even have a little, they left you the slot just to, you know, pass the battery through it. That's pretty cool. I really like that, actually. I really do prefer that. We could also mount it up here. And um, overall, it looks nice. I, I don't know. I think it's going to need tuning. I could be wrong. But I do highly believe it's going to need tuning because it, the arms don't look very symmetrical, um, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, just looking at it, yeah. As you can tell here, these pop out more. He's going more, but I have no experience in hexcopters, so I just, I'm not the guy to say anything really. Uh, but I think it will need tuning. I, I really do think it might need a little bit of tuning, and it's going to be interesting and fun experience. I mean, it's a pretty cheap frame. 
However, it's a little bit more expensive than others to build just because you have to buy two extra motors. But this is why I'm going for a Racer Star motors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get them right now. Um, good thing I forgot your name. I'm so sorry. Left me the comment about those. I really want to check those out. Uh, and this is going to be pretty interesting. I have no idea what to expect. And um, maybe when we're finished, we do another giveaway for this. Um, because to be honest, I'm not going to fly it. And, you know, I have way too many quads. And I just keep constantly testing quads. So um, it's better off with one of you guys. Maybe Patreons or maybe YouTube. I don't know. We'll figure out as time goes on. And... Yeah, well, that's it, guys. So I really, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It does look a, like pretty nice frame. Everything was cut. Everything aligned good. It is a good purchase. It's it's pretty cheap, thirty seven bucks, and uh, everything was there. The hardware was pretty good, actually. I'm not even thinking of replacing it. And um, overall, I'm very satisfied with it, to be honest. Um, it just seems like it's a monster too. It's a two hundred seventy five millimeter wheelbase. It's huge. I don't know if the camera is like like. I don't know. It's not even putting it in perspective. Oh yeah, the most important thing, obviously, it's weight. It's weight is 119 grams. Isn't that insane? That's, that's you know, some 5-inch, you know, freestyle frames with 2 millimeter plates don't even come up to 100, you know, 119 grams. Look at that, 119 grams. That's pretty insane. So this is this thing from its weight here, it's going to fly good. But don't forget, you're going to have an extra 2 motor weight on that frame. But it's good that it's already pretty light, so it'll help in that perspective. And um, should be overall pretty interesting. And it looks very nice, actually. Very, very nice. And, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider joining my Patreon. I have a lot of awesome giveaways this month. So Premium Motors, a DIY Shark, uh, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure yet. The Emax Hawk, the Baby Hawk. I got one of those. I haven't flown it yet. I'll be reviewing it soon. And um, some other things, usually three to four giveaways per month. So make sure you join the Patreon. You have an awesome chance of winning. And you can also support this channel, keep it going, joining the mission, testing everything, getting everything we need. And basically, I try to give everything back to you guys as much as I can. And um, yeah, and you can also use affiliates down below. Those greatly support the channel. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That really does help support the channel. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.